people sometimes forget that I'm also a manager and a leader myself. And the accountability dial and the skill set is something that I needed to learn as well along the way. It's something that I really struggled with, especially early on in my leadership career, of knowing how to give feedback without it being too intense and learning how to balance my desire to drive a result with giving people the coaching and development they needed. But the dial itself came out of a coaching conversation that I was having with the first CEO that I ever coached when I started Refound. I was working with Spencer, who was the CEO of a marketing agency in the Midwest. And he had had an employee who had been with him for about 10 years. And he was really struggling with how to get this person to operate at the next level. In the middle of one of our coaching calls, he realized that there was a conversation that he needed to have. And we did some role play around what that conversation might sound like. And naively, I was sort of speaking about the destination of, hey, here's what accountability would look like. And here's where you want to get to where he really understands the standards that you're holding and why you're holding them and where the gap is between how he's showing up today and where you need him to be. Got it, he said, I'm gonna go have that conversation. And I didn't think much of it. I assumed that he would approach that in a way with a lot of empathy and hopefully some curiosity, but that's not what happened. About a week later, we had our next coaching call and he said, Jonathan, I really felt good going into that conversation but it didn't go well. I really told him straight. I told him exactly what I needed and when I needed it and how he was failing. And I said, Spencer, that, that's not what I meant. I meant to have that series of conversations. I wanted you to just start the topic with him and to work up to those standards and expectations a little bit more gradually. Oh, he said, that probably would have gone a lot better. So as a result of that conversation, I realized that I needed to give my clients a process I needed to be able to show them the destination of what accountability looks like in the end, but to break that conversation up into a few component parts. So we started to think of it as a dial, like the volume on an old stereo set of how do I start the conversation without bringing a lot of intensity? How do I raise the topic or the behavior or talk about the situation in a way that's relevant and timely, but without going so far into the conversation where it's going to make the person feel defensive or go into a place where they feel victimized or that I didn't understand where they were coming from. When people know how to talk with one another, when it feels safer to give feedback and to talk about the things that might otherwise be uncomfortable, it builds trust and it builds an environment where people feel like they can be more of themselves, take more risks and own their role to the next level. That's why we really want to encourage you to share this with your team. Make it open, be transparent, and use the opportunity to do some teaching about the way that you're trying to grow as a leader. They'll love to hear that from you.